So, get out the uh, middle one here. All right. First, uh, first off, we want to drain the gas out of the carburetor first. And there's a plug right there. Uh, the slotted screwdriver. Unscrew it. And uh, take it over and drain it. Alrighty. And uh, a clean towel over here will put all the parts that are coming out over here. I'll back this up a little bit. There we go. Alright. Now, um, let's take the top piece off here. These screws uh, are really in here, so get the right size screwdriver and make sure uh, you're not stripping them. And hopefully this will come apart. Oh yeah, there we go. And put this screw over here with the other pieces you're we're taking off. The gas is going to take off the markings uh, so when I get this thing all uh, done before I go on to the next carburetor I'm going to remark this middle. So when I put it back on the uh, on the engine over there I'll have them in the right order. You see I have a lot of things on here that I have not taken off yet because I'm not going to if I don't have to. Uh, less chance of uh, not putting stuff back together the way it's supposed to be. So you know, I'm only taking apart what I absolutely have to to rebuild this carburetor. And there we go. Oh, there is some debris in here. Whoa. Yeah, see that? There's gunk in here. Yeah, I'm gonna get that out of there. Yeah, stuff that'll gum up a carburetor, that's for sure. All right. Now, yeah. uh, we're not going to take any of these uh, needles out, you know. Uh, we'll just squirt around them and make sure everything's working right. See all the holes in there? Every one of those little holes have to be cleaned out. Uh, so I use carburetor cleaner. And okay. So we got that off, uh, put that over here for now, we'll deal with the gasket later. Now we'll turn this over and uh, we got the bottom uh, cover that's uh, the floats inside. So take these screws out. There's not much to these carburetors, really. Pretty, pretty simple design. They've been there like that forever, you know. They change them, you know, they upgrade them, but and some of the parts are obsolete anymore. But they still make uh, parts for it. It's just that uh, they went to a higher rev level. one's coming apart a little better than the bottom one. Bottom one, the screws were in there pretty good. Yeah, it could have been just from uh, being in there so long. Uh, some corrosion setting in a little bit. You can see corrosion around this um, gas fitting here. It's turning rusty. But it still works. It's not leaking. Let's take this off, uh, get it off you, take the back end of your, and just give it a little tap, 
Yep, see? There we go. Yeah, this one, uh, yeah, it's got a bunch of crud in it. This is probably the one that's not working all that great. The bottom one uh, didn't look this gummed up. So uh, we're going to take the um, <laughs> crap everywhere. We're going to take uh, the float off, and there's a little pin here that slides out. So we'll uh, get it going there, right? And take the needle nose, pull the pin out, put it over here. And now we can take the float off. And as you see, when I turn this over, there's a little pin, right? That's the float pin that turn, uh, shuts off and opens up the uh, flow of gas into the uh, bowl, right? So the only thing that's holding this on is this little tiny spring, right? See that? See that little spring? So you, you just have to put it back on there like it came off just like uh, just like that see just sits on top there so yeah it's got a little orange on the bottom but uh, you know uh, the pin looks good it's not worn or nothing so we're going to put the pin over here for now. We'll clean it up before we put it back on. And see this little gasket that comes off. Try to get it all off in one piece. All right. It's going to be replaced. I got a gasket set here. Has everything in it. Yep. Now we'll take off uh, this gasket, the bowl gasket. Okay, try to get it off all in one piece if you can. There we go. See? All right. Okay. Now, now that we get all that removed, we're ready to start cleaning everything. And I have the uh, carburetor cleaner, All right? Got the little uh, nozzle thing. Put it in there. Okay. Well, I think I'll tilt the camera. make sure it's uh, getting everything oh yeah there we go okay all right wipe off the hands okay open up the gasket kit they're all the same all the gasket kits anyway. Okay, there's only one way this can go on. See these pins? Alright, so the pins gotta, gotta have the holes for the pins. There we go, just like that. Okay, now we gotta Spray the little pin for the uh, float. All right. Put the float, uh, put the pin back on the float. Same way it came off, just like that. It just sits up there, that's all it does. Now you put it 
into that hole right there. Okay, just like that. Now you put the uh, this pin back in. So that's what holds it together. This can go back on. Oh, there's another gasket there. Make sure we put it on. If you have extra parts in here, it tells you you forgot to put something on. In this situation though, we have some extra parts. Which I'll show you here. I got two of these, right? Uh, they're both the same, so you just got an extra one, I guess. You need to get in there later on. So this one here, it uh, goes right over this. Yeah, and then it goes down. And you take these, uh, push it down all the way, just like that. Now this can go back on. Okay. And all these little screws that hold this down, hit it with a little spray first. There we go. And don't tighten it all the way down yet. Okay, now we're uh, going to tighten it down. A little bit there. I'm going to do them a little bit at a time. You want the gasket even, you know. Okay, a little bit more. It is aluminum, so you don't want to overdo it, but you want them good and snug. The gasket will keep the thing from leaking. All right. Now turn it over. All right. Now this piece here, right, take off the old gasket. Okay. Now we're going to put the new one on. Make sure that, uh, well, clean the plate off first. Now, this one here, the flat yeah. side and then the side that has all the wording on it, the flat side actually goes against the, uh, the part. Clean the extra stuff off there. All right, so it goes just like that. All right. The flat side against the part. All right, now, this goes like this. All right. And... Uh, Make sure that this gasket is sitting up on these edges here, so push it down. Make sure it's sitting down all the way. There we go. And put this on. Alright, spray these off a little bit.
tight. 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 There we go. Okay, so that's all back together. Uh, got extra one of these. Put it back in the bag. Now all that's left is uh, this gasket actually goes on the uh, on the uh, carburetor when you you put it back on the engine, right? Between the engine and the carburetor. But we're not ready to do that yet. Still working on the carburetors. But we do have this, right? These two little items that come uh, in the bag. So um, it goes like that, right? And uh, then take the old gasket off this, right? Okay. All right. Squirt this down a little bit. All right. Yeah. Put the on that like that. Okay. Over here. Okay. Tighten it up. Okay. There it is. A rebuilt carburetor. All right. 